Hey, preacher here, just got to the dentist. Got to get my teeth worked on, and he'd been having some sick problems the dentist had, and hadn't been in for a while. And I'm going to go in there, and I hate going to the dentist. Ain't nothing worse than going to the dentist. I don't know why. It don't hurt. Don't not, I just don't like it. But I just left Menards. And bought me a new toilet lid. Interesting, right? But just listen. Bought me a new toilet lid. And you know why I bought that toilet lid? Toilet seat? Wasn't nothing wrong with it. Set good. Fit good. But when you'd clean it, and I'm a spaz about cleaning toilets, so I just spaz about it. It had been on my stool long enough, this lid, that there's kind of a war spot there. I don't know what, couldn't be because of the weight or nothing wore it out. It had to be the kids been scratching on a pocket knife or something. But anyways, if you, if you didn't, if you didn't closely look, you'd think it was crap all over the lid. Now you're saying, what the heck the hey preacher got to do with this? I got thinking about that. And there's a lot of things on the outside of people. Might look like crap. Really ain't crap at all. It's just what you're seeing is crap. And so I'm going to change it. Because I know that when people go sit down, they look at that and think, I don't know if I want to sit on that or not. And there ain't nothing wrong with it. Fine shape. Good shape. Bible says, what is it? Judge not lest you be judged. But I'm going to the dentist. And there's things in my mouth that aren't right. That are legit up, Messed up. You can't see them. Only one knows about is me and him. And yet you don't pay them no never mind. You don't go open my mouth every time I walk by see if there's something in there that had ought not be. So I guess I'm just saying this before I go in there because I'll come out and won't be able to talk. Be careful. Be careful. When you look at somebody on the outside and think to yourselves, they just got crap all over them. I know, ain't this something? But dang it, we do it. We Christians, we do it. We, we, good example, yesterday we had, we had a lady walk in the church. Never seen her, don't know her. She might live here, she might live far away. Right just as the service was starting, walks in the door and I'm in the back because I'm always nervous and I can't take thinking just that you got to be... I said, well, welcome. Come on in. Have a seat. And she says, told me who she was and didn't know if she'd have some gas money. She needed to get to Texas. Her daughter died. Had to go to Houston. She goes, I got a full tank. And I said, I'm just asking enough to get me down to Houston. That's all I'm asking. And... We were singing her last song, and I stopped the service, and I introduced this lady and said that she's got an issue and she needs a enough money to get her to Houston. So me, being the preacher, like we didn't make a motion, blah blah blah, get ready to do all that stuff, and. It was a Sunday, Christmas Sunday, so there wasn't a lot of people there, but 
everybody, almost everybody that I know of, got up, walked over, give her some money, give her a hug. And so I didn't, my wallet's out in the car, so I go out in the car and come back in and to give her money, and I was going to have prayer with her with the church, and they're like, we already had prayer with her. Now, there might have been a couple people in there that was saying this looks like a bunch of crap. But you know what? I'm so proud of my church because 99.9% .9 of them did what God said do. And that was be obedient to the leading of the Spirit of God. You see, sometimes He tests us. It don't matter whether it's crap or not. It don't matter what it looks like to us. What matters was when he said do, my church did. And I'm thankful for them. I love them for them. They're so good about that. And I asked the lady, I said, how'd you get here? Cause we're, we're out in the country. We're way out in sticks. And she goes, I don't know. Pulled off the interstate. Could have went in town. 100 churches in town. But she turned north I guess you seen the blue sign said Macedonia Baptist Church went into the, the road and there we was but you see we didn't look to see if there's any crap all over if she's worth setting down upon helping out we just did what God said do my prayer is she gets to Texas she said her daughter had five kids she was an old woman elderly but it's not up to me to decide whether it's crap or not when that spirit of God and I preached about it a little bit yesterday somebody said you know, explain the spirit of God to me it's like I can't he just speaks and says, this is what we got to do. And shout hallelujah. My church is doing it before I can about ever get it out of my mouth. So the next time you get ready to sit down on some old cruddy looking lid, turlet lid, and you think it's covered with crap, might just have a scratch in it, be beat up a little bit, but there ain't nothing wrong with it. I hope that lady's almost all the way to Houston. I do. That's my prayer today. And I hope if she ever comes back this way, she stops in, just let us know how things are going. I'm going to go in, get my teeth fixed, can't tell it, look, you, you can't, but there's something wrong in there. We're always worried about looking on the outside, not what's on the inside. So the next time you think there's crap on the lid, give it a second look. If God says do, do what he tells you, and he'll bless you for it. God bless. Love you. I'll see you soon.